Hi and welcome. Today we'll be seeing how to use Unity Remote 5 to test your Android game without actually building it in Unity. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to the channel. So before we go ahead with the Unity setting, you need to download the Unity Remote 5 from Google Play Store. The link is there in the description. So once you download that, go to your settings menu and in the setting, search for build number. It will be available under about phone if you want to browse and find it or you can use the search menu. So once you find the build number, tap on it for maybe seven times. So you will see a notification called now you are a developer. So once you see that notification, uh, you can go back and search for developer options. Now you should have the developer options and under developer options, enable USB debugging. And now connect your phone. So you should get a notification asking that your PC will connect to your phone. Allow it and in the USB settings, make sure file transfer is selected. So that's it for the phone. Now you can come back to your PC. So the first thing you have to check is whether you have installed the Android build support. So if not, just go to the installs tab of Unity Hub and click on the gear icon here. And you should see an option called add modules. And under add modules, if you already installed Android build support, there won't be any checkbox available. If a checkbox is available, that means you have not installed the Android build support. So select Android build support, click continue. Uh, make sure you have a good internet connection because this might take a longer time. So once you install the Android build support, the next step is to configure the Unity editor. So go to Unity editor and make sure the build platform is set to Android. If not set it to Android, go to edit, project settings, and select editor and select the device type as any Android device. Now, after this, close Unity, start the Unity Remote 5 on your phone, and then restart Unity. Now, with your phone connected, if you press the play button in your Unity editor, the editor game window should appear on your phone. If it is not appearing, there are a few things to check. First, check if the cable connection is proper. Second, Make sure USB debugging is switched on and check that the USB setting is set to file transfer. And inside Unity Editor, go to Edit, Preferences, External Tools, scroll down and make sure all the checkboxes are checked and you don't have any error here. If you have any error, that means the Android build support was not installed properly, so you will have to reinstall them. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.